We all know that anthropic models like Claude are the best coding models right now, but anthropic keep increasing the price tag. So I think it's time to search an alternative, at least a replacement model that can handle the smaller tasks and we can still use Claude at the hardest tasks. So as you see here, I'm gonna test Claude against GLM 4.5 and those tests about coding performance, front-end design cloning abilities, and the last test will be about the creativity of those models. So let's start testing. So the first test we have here, we will ask both models to create a Python game. So here I will ask each model to, to think about this prompt and create a plan for it. Because in this way, we will make sure that each model will give us the best results possible. So in Cloud here, I will enable extend thinking, and let's send it and see. So now Claude finished his plan and this is looking really good. I will tell him to execute this plan now. I will enable extended thinking. So Claude finished the generation. Let's test this code and see. The code is quite long. It's about 1000 lines of code. Let's start it. So this game is really good, but the color choice, I don't know why, it's all gray and black. So for this, I will give it 6.5 out of 10. So let's try GLM and we will see if it's gonna do better than Cloud or not. So here I will test GLM under the same condition. I will ask him the same request and enable thinking. Now GLM just created his plan. I will ask him the same request as Cloud. To execute the plan and generate the full python code so here we have glm finish it the code generation as we see here it's about 800 lines of code let's try this code now so as you see this is the menu interface i basically played all the levels of this game and i really like it the color palette it's really great the movement the mechanics so i will rate this 8.5 out of 10 and this is completely unexpected because i thought claude will win this round so yeah let's move to the next test so the next test i will give claude uh, this dashboard interface and i will tell him to analyze it precisely and try to clone it as accurate as possible so we will see what are the models that has the best vision capabilities so so this is a comparison side by side. This is the original dashboard image and this is cloud generation. For what I can see here, the cloning process is not very accurate. And what I wanted to see from Claude, if his vision capability is not powerful enough, show me a good final result at least. I mean, he can enhance it more and deliver a better result. Even if it's not 100% authentic to the original dashboard or image, we should at least get something acceptable. The layout is completely messed up and he didn't even use use proper UI elements. I will give this 4 out of 10 and let's see how GLM 4.5 will perform. Yo guys, the GLM generation has finished it and as you see, they provided the code here. Uh, I took a screenshot and this is what it looks like guys. This is extremely precise. I mean, the generation has some issues but you no, know, you can fix them easily like those the circular diagram it can be easily fixed and overall the cloning ability of this model is extremely powerful i mean it's exactly like the image all the components on their places everything is precise so when we compare this to cloud generation this is way more better i will give this 9 out of 10 so here we testing the model creativity we will ask them to generate an original website concept and we don't give them anything. Let's begin with Claude. So this is the generation of Claude. I don't know what is this, but it's apparently a mysterious object, some sort of puzzle you need to, to figure out. But sadly, there is nothing work in this website. I mean, the idea is beautiful, but the execution is terrible. So I will give this generation two out of 10 because the idea only. Uh, now let's give a shot to GLM and see what it will come up with. GLM just finished his generation and the execution of this code is so perfect. I mean, I didn't see anything like this before. 
like the model blur the text and he have actually a very good concept this is a about a time capsule when you bury your memories to see them in the future so let's test this and see if it's work or not so this is actually working the capsule i created is already there and as you see there is a countdown so when you refresh the page you, you can see the message inside it which is so fascinating actually this website the idea of this website is great and the execution is perfect so i will give this website 9 out of 10 and with this glm win three times on the road i honestly thought Claude will win this episode but those ai models keep surprising us and i guess chinese ai models will take over the world eventually so i will just keep it like this give me your thoughts in the comments and if you like this episode give us a like and subscribe and thank you for watching see you next episode